coins and currency notes. Let us see different kinds of coins. This is a 50 Pesa coin. This is 1 Rupee coin. That's a 2 Rupees coin. Here's a 5 Rupees coin. And that's the new one, 10 Rupees coin. Here is a 1 Rupee note. Here is 2 Rupees note. This is 5 rupees note. This is 10 rupees note. Which coins or currency notes will you use to make up the given amount of money? Now here we have to make rupees 5. For that, we can take 2, 2 rupees coin and 1, 1 rupee coin. Now, 2 rupees plus 2 rupees is 4 rupees plus 1 makes it 5 rupees. Again, we have to make 5 rupees. For that, we have another option as well, children. We can take 1, 2 rupee coin. And 3 1 rupee coins that would be 2 rupees plus 1 rupee plus 1 rupee plus 1 rupee that is 5 rupees. Now we have to make 10 rupees coin. For that we can take 5 2 rupees coins as it would be 2 rupees plus 2 rupees that is 4 rupees. 4 rupees plus 2 rupees that is 6 rupees. 6 rupees plus 2 rupees that is 8 rupees. And 8 rupees plus 2 rupees makes it 10 rupees. Now let us find another way to make 10 rupees. For that we can take a 5 rupees coin, a 2 rupees coin and 3 1 rupee coins. That would be 5 rupees. Plus 2 rupees, that is 7 rupees. Plus 1 rupee would be 8 rupees. Plus 1 rupee, 9 rupees. Plus 1 rupee would be 10 rupees. Coins and currency notes. Oral sums. Number 1. One eraser costs one rupee. How much will two erasers cost? Now children, we know that cost of one eraser is one rupee. And we have to find the cost of two erasers. Now two eraser means one eraser plus one eraser. And cost of one eraser is 1 rupee. So cost of 1 plus 1 erasers would be 1 rupee plus 1 rupee. So the cost of 2 erasers would be 2 rupees. Number 2. Rahul bought a balloon for 4 rupees and a pen for 5 rupees. How many rupees did he pay for them? Now children, cost of balloon is 4 rupees and cost of pen is 5 rupees. Now the total rupees Rahul has to pay would be cost of balloon plus cost of pen. That would be 4 rupees plus 5 rupees which is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 rupees. So Rahul has to pay 9 rupees. Kids, here is a picture. In this picture, a shopkeeper is selling a lot of articles. 
The above picture shows some articles and their cost. Each child below has some money. What can each child buy with that money? Let's find out. Before finding out that, let us see all the articles the shopkeeper is selling and the price of each article. The sweet is of 2 rupees each. One top is for 4 rupees. One ball is of 10 rupees. One bingri is of 2 rupees. One pencil is of 3 rupees. One pen is of 5 rupees. Erasers are 1 rupee each. And sharpeners are 1 rupee each. Now Ramesh has 7 rupees. So he can buy 1 top plus 1 pencil. As the cost of 1 top is 4 rupees. And cost of 1 pencil is 3 rupees. Which means it would be 4 rupees plus 3 rupees. So it is 5, 6, 7 rupees in all. That is the money Ramesh has. Other than these things, he can buy one pen plus two erasers or one sweet plus one top plus one sharpener. Now let us see how much money does Janki has. Janki has 10 rupees. In 10 rupees, Janki can buy either one ball which is of 10 rupees or one pen plus one pencil plus one bingri or one pen plus one pencil plus one eraser plus one sharpener. Now it's Manjeet's turn. Manjeet has 9 rupees. He can buy one pen plus one top or one pencil plus one sweet plus one sharpener plus one eraser, one bingri or one bingri plus one top plus one pencil. Ahmed has 5 rupees, so he can buy either one pen or one top plus one eraser or one sweet plus one bingri plus one sharpener. Mary has 8 rupees. She can buy either one pen plus one pencil or one top plus one bingri plus one sweet or one top plus one pencil plus one sharpener.